Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I would like to show you how you can deploy your smart contracts to sidechain solutions like Polygon or Binance Smart Chain. These days, these two networks are very popular because they are blazing fast. You can spend less money on the gas fees uh, and you have a lot of um, other products or decentralized applications built on these networks. So today I would like uh, to show you the whole process of deploying the smart contract to these uh, networks. So first of all, I will show you the sample contract. I prepared just a regular NFT contract. Then I will show you how you can configure your MetaMask because obviously if you want to deploy your smart contract to Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, you have to somehow pay the fees and you have to put the signature on the transaction. And the easiest way would be just to use the Remix and your MetaMask wallet. Um, then uh, I will show you how to configure that wallet because because um, MetaMask has um, a lot of networks. So usually you can have just a testnet and Ethereum mainnet, but you don't have um, Binance Smart Chain or Polygon networks. So we, I, will, I will also show you how you can get these networks into your wallet. Um, then on the first step, I will show you how you can get funds actually into your wallet, because uh, whenever you have to deploy uh, the smart contract, you have to cover the gas fees on the Binance Smart Chain. They are super cheap. Um, one uh, smart contract you will see in the minute that it costs something like one dollar or sometimes less uh, on the polygon you have to spend some matic and it's also super super uh, cheap and on the last step I will just uh, show you on the Binance smart chain and on the polygon um, the ready smart contract just you can see that it really uh, worked so first of all um, maybe let's jump into the code of our smart contract it's regular ERC uh, 721. I called it ugly token uh, because I found two really uh, ugly uh, pictures of some NFTs on the Twitter and I just included them to this smart contract. Um, and then uh, we, we will just deploy it. So uh, I will make sure that I have the right contract here. So it's devnft.sol here we have the environment inside the Remix and we have the JavaScript VM. So before I deploy any contract uh, to the mainnet, I always uh, deploy it first uh, to the virtual machine just to be sure that everything works fine. And now you can see that we have this uh, ugly token uh, deployed. So um, I think it should work. Here we can type the token uh, ID and then we have the URI. Then we can uh, check the balance of um, the owner address. So I can just copy that address here and maybe specify it. And here you can see that this address has two NFTs. Um, then we can check who is the owner of the token ID one. And then we can see that the deploy is actually the owner. So it looks like this super simple um, smart contract works. So now I will show you how you can configure your MetaMask that your MetaMask talks to the Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. So uh, here is the chainlist.org. This is a great website on which you can find a lot of um, uh, side chains. So you can type Polygon and then you have the mainnet and you can just click add to the MetaMask and then it's just ask you, okay, switch the network and then then you can see that you are on the Matic. Um, so this is the polygon. Um, if we just type here Binance uh, Smart Chain, we can just click add to the MetaMask and then um, I already have uh, my Binance Smart Chain configured here. So it's really important to make sure that you have MetaMask with the right configuration because whenever you want to deploy to some network, your MetaMask has to talk to this network. So this is solved. The easiest way to do it is uh, using the Chainlist or G. Of course, if you want to do it yourself, then you can just add the network information manually. However, the chain list is just a quicker option. So, okay, we have a smart contract, we have um, our MetaMask ready, but now we need um, some money because obviously whenever we want to deploy some smart contract, we have to cover the fees. And the easiest way to do it is on the Binance. Binance is a marketplace where you can get some cryptocurrencies. It's quite popular. Popular. Of course, some people don't like Binance. However, I think that's the easiest way to get um, the BNB token, which is required if you want to deploy your smart contract to the Binance smart chain 
or Matic, which is required if you want to pay and cover the gas fees uh, for deploying to the Polygon. So you can go to the Binance in the description down below. I have uh, my referral link. So whenever you use that referral link, uh, I will get some small uh, bonus from the um, Binance, but you will also get the 5% back of every um, money you would pay for the commission. So I think it's a pretty nice uh, deal. So you can just thank me for recording these videos just by using this referral. Of course, if you don't want to use it, just go to the Binance or just go to any exchange uh, where you can get these coins. And interesting thing about the BNB and the Polygon uh, Matic token is that you can buy it on the Binance and then you can directly get the coins into the specific network. So you don't have to pay the real Ethereum gas for any transactions. You don't have to use any bridging techniques. You can just set your MetaMask to using specific network and then you just can copy your address, paste it here, and then you just have to be sure that you specify the Binance Smart and BIP20 uh, network. And then you have to pay at least um, 28 cents for this transaction. However, uh, then um, if you select this and then you would withdraw your BNB, which you have to first get on this, decentra on this exchange, uh, then you would get uh, it to your um, wallet. So you can see that I already have have the BNB and I will use this BNB to cover um, the gas fees for deploying the smart contract. And how to do it? Uh, the best way to do it is just go uh, here to the Remix, then you can just paste your code of the smart contract, make sure it works, you can just use it with the JavaScript VM, uh, then you can also uh, set maybe first before going to the mainnet, you can use some testnet on also on the Binance Smart Chain, you have the testnets, there's no problem with that, you just have to specify your MetaMask to this network, you can use the chain list for that because they also have the information about the um, testnet. So uh, I have have the contract here. Um, before I compile it, uh, I enabled some optimizations. Maybe it will reduce uh, a bit uh, the price that I have to pay for the smart contract. And now I have the contract and here I will specify the environment which would be Injected Web 3. And Injected Web 3 will go with my MetaMask. So my MetaMask currently is set to the Binance Smart Chain. And then uh, if I'm using this environment here, if I hit uh, deploy on this dev uh, NFT, uh, then my MetaMask would pop up and then I would be asked to um, pay uh, some BNB. So this BNB, um, let's check how much is it. Yeah, so it's about four bucks just for deploying this smart contract. And okay, I will spend this money for you guys just that you can see uh, how to deploy it. So I will click now confirm. And then if we click here, uh, we can just go um, to the transaction on the Binance Smart Chain. And then you would see that we actually um, minted the smart contract and we uh, actually <laughs> minted uh, the two NFTs. So um, here's how you can go with the Binance Smart Chain. And it's quite similar if you want to go with Matic, so uh, Polygon. So actually, I will right now just change my um, MetaMask uh, to uh, Matic Mainnet. And here you can see that I have a bit of Matic. And again, I can deploy the very same uh, smart contract and I can just click the deploy. And right now MetaMask will ask me uh, for actually spending some Matic for deploying this contract. And of course, I can um, just uh, calculate it the same way. And you can see uh, the Polygon is way cheaper. So for deploying this smart contract, we have to pay something like eight cents. So you can see that is super, super uh, cheap. And that's great that you can mint uh, a lot of NFTs uh, for such a cheap price and just deploy them to the Polygon uh, network. And then the OpenSea and many other marketplaces are just supporting uh, the Polygon uh, blockchain. So it's super cool, super easy, super fast. So um, yeah, let's pay for this transaction. And we can go to the Polygon scan. And now you can see that we have as well our smart contract deployed to the Polygon network and we have two tokens and of course we can check uh, what's inside this token. Uh, we have the token tracer, uh, we can go to the inventory and here we can see that we have some token IDs. 
now last but not least let's see our collection on the nft because i told you that it is ugly token i found some ugly pictures of uh, some nfts on the twitter and if i go to my profile on the open sea you can see that we have our ugly token here and we have vitalik portrait and some swag ape right so maybe uh, i will go back um, so you can see that I spent about um, 8 cents on minting this um, NFTs on my smart contract on the Polygon and it works on the OpenSea. Uh, you have to just remember to have the nice meta file. I'm not covering that in this video. Uh, feel free to watch some of my previous videos on uh, customizing meta files and always be sure that your smart contract has ownable um, attributes. So you just have to inherit from ownable smart contracts from open zeppelin because otherwise you are not able to customize your um your collection so for instance here i have edit and i can provide logo images feature image uh, name url description uh, royalties and all other uh, nice stuff so don't uh, forget to inherit uh, from one so that's it for what i prepared for you thank you for your attention if you like the video feel free to leave uh, the like like uh, and if you have some questions about deploying uh, smart contracts and using side chains feel free to join my discord uh, or just ask the question down below in the comment section so see you on this channel